and uh, my congratulations you know for doing such a fantastic work i we are just doing work at the moment in jharkhand and bihar and our experience is this that those places you know are very difficult places to work just now you know we have started a kitchen over there in about 9 to 10 villages and uh, feeding large number of the whole of the uh, villages have been fed by us you know and it's a community kitchen so that all those villagers you know who are very remotely situated you know they all are getting food also in jharkhand you know we are also in some of our dharmshalas you know we have worked out a kitchen and supplying every day about 1000 to 2000 people you know they are getting food you know on that basis so the situation there is very bad and now i think uh, more and more migrants are reaching jharkhand and uh, bihar that's going to create lot of problem over there i think then covid will move into those areas and the number of cases are just going up with your work you know i i what paul said is very very important i had the same point that we have about 90 lakhs teacher in india and azim prem ji foundation has been doing this and they are training teachers so if you create a program something like that in a partnership with a few people and create a training for this teacher then the quality of education will improve substantially yes because otherwise you know teacher comes in the class in a rural area tell some stories and they just goes away but they don't actually don't teach because they themselves don't know how to teach well so i think this is one idea you know i'll leave it on you other thing i would like to say for the city of mumbai today if i look at the sky i'm very happy it's fantastic you know <laughs> and this and the i remember now the late 50s the mumbai city was like that because of there's no cars there are no you know burning of petrol and diesel and everything is quiet our climate is completely changed and then we are feeling much better that we are breathing really oxygen previously you know we were only having all the carbon dioxide to breathe so i think uh, something which is in adverse situation some something good also happens you know in that basis so i would say that you should think about that how do we improve the climate also because the climate is very important for the cities of india and we are we are you know managing ourselves in a very very bad situation when the when everything will start again and where the climate will go so sometimes i feel that this situation and technology is helping us not to travel but work from the home so i think these are the few thoughts which i have and the last thought which i have is for you which of 500 schools i think think about only 50 schools how you can do it well and this 50 schools you know tie up with some of the telecom companies who are selling handset Mm. and will they can give it you from the csr budget and free so that you know you can cover that much children suppose you have to cover 5000 or 10000 children in that process you know can't afford those uh, handphone then if you can get it from them and teach those children and just make a model of 50 schools which is working on e learning and that will then you know you can you can go further into 500 schools That's my thought. Thank you. No, thank you, Nimesh. I'm 